Welcome back once again to the Coliseum in Denver. I'm Joel Myers. Alongside Christy Kraft, we get ready for the women's division now. It seems impossible that the heart of a champion could beat in her 70-pound frame. But already, Kim Zabesko has defeated the best in international competition. Her coach, Bella Caroli, knows that in women's gymnastics, success is short-lived. He has produced other champions, but time is the opponent that eventually vanquished them all. All but Brandy Johnson, who at age 17 persists in competing in a sport where winning Olympic medals is child's play. Though she now trains with Kevin Brown in Florida, she shared the Olympic spotlight with Caroling in 1988. With hazy dreams of future Olympics, Brandy persevered. Illness and injury contributed to her disastrous performance in this spring's American Cup. But she's not yet ready to be dismissed. After American Cup, I just really didn't know what to expect. I went through burnout. I never thought it would happen to me, but it did. And I took some time off just to get away from it for about a week and a half. And I came back on my birthday, and I said, I've been out long enough. I'm ready to go back. Kim Zemesko performed with precocious flair and energy in winning this year's American Cup. And while her coach revels in her early success, he values the competition her generation will face with their seniors. Rivalries help transform little girls into Olympic champions. And Bella has put together a new group that could be arriving just in time for Barcelona. I'm asking, you know, which is easier? To come with something what you already got and compete uh, back and forth or to go back and work really, really, really hard, gosh, to create a totally new generation. I did not strive. I, I was the one I chose the hard way. And all of my life, you know, I've done it the same way. Go back and create the generation. And I believe now that people should be very, very happy to have, you know, this unique situation in the country when two great generations can meet each other, can create a competitive environment, a very strong challenging each other, and who is the winner? The overall program, the quality, the team. And if gymnasts can have rivals, then their coaches can too. Kevin Brown need to look no farther than Bella Caroli. I take Bella as a challenge. Uh, he always, his big comment is, uh, just come out and beat me, and then, then we'll see where everything stands. Well, I've done that, and, I've, and I'm going to continue to do that. And I feel that uh, because of my strengths in my programs, I think I've got some strengths that go along with my program and my athletes and the way I coach, that, uh, that are really beyond what Bella does. So uh, I think we're going to see some changes. I think I've already proven myself, and I, I think that uh, it'll all come out in the end, at the end of the meet. At the compulsories, Brandy Johnson came determined to defend her title against Kim Zemesco and all other challengers. Brandy and Kim performed excellent routines all under the watchful eyes of their coaches. Brandy showed grit, while Kim rarely wavered. Experience gained an edge as the battle shaped up. Each time Brandy hit a routine, Kim answered with one of her own. Mercy was not in Brandy's heart, needing a solid beam performance. Brandy nailed it and showed the crowd of the youngsters something about her competitive spirit. If Kim Zemeskel or any other is to unseat Brandy Johnson, it will not be without a fight. So we take our first look at the standings after the compulsories, which comprise 60% of the scoring, and the showdown is heating up. Brandy Johnson with a slight edge over Kim Zemeskel. Will we see our first back-to-back -back winner? the national championship since 1982. We'll find out as the women's optionals are coming up next from Denver.
Welcome back once again to the U.S. Gymnastics Championships. I'm Joel Myers along with Christy Kraft, and we now move to the optionals in the women's division. The defending national champion, Brandi Johnson, getting ready for the vault, battling her way back over the last four months, Christy, from illness and injury. When you look at the overall picture, and especially Barcelona in 92, is the timetable working against Brandi Johnson? In 1992, Brandy Johnson will be 19 years old, which is about two to two and a half years older than the median age for the Olympic Games. But Brandy Johnson is no gymnast to count out. She has the talent, and I think it's a question of motivation. It's a great event for her as she gets ready for her first vault. She won a silver medal on the vault at last year's World Championships. That was a fabulous vault for Brandy Johnson. One tenth deduction to a step on the landing. This is a great opportunity for Brandy to increase her lead and further her quest to retain her all-around title. Listening to the instructions for Coach Kevin Brown, and don't forget, in the women's vault, they go two times, and they take the highest score. But an outstanding start in the optionals. That was an excellent vault. Here we see Brandy. She has a strong push off the horse, laid out all the way around. Just that step on the landing. Sigh of relief from Brandy Johnson just to get everything underway this afternoon. So much pressure on her and a 9-8. Could have been a 9-9 without that step. It could, but that's a nice, solid start for Brandy. Remember, she's one of the best vaulters in the world. While Brandy is getting ready for her second vault, we move over to the beam with Erica Stokes, one of Caroli's kindergarten last year that's definitely advancing in a big hurry this year. Erica is in her first year as a senior gymnast. She's starting out on the balance beam. Not the easiest situation to be in. But I think she can handle it well. She has an unusual mount, pressed to handstand, a double pirouette, twice around on her hands, in a split position. It's unusual because no one really does this mount. She's tall when you take into consideration some of the others that perform for Bella Caroli. Yeah, she's tall to the tune of about four foot nine. Two back handsprings to a layout. Oh, and a break there, but Erica holds on. She just keeps moving out of it. Is that type of break maybe a tenth of a point deduction? The breaks are measured. A small break is one-tenth. A major break, like a near fall, is four-tenths. And breaks like that are somewhere in the middle. Erica's moving very confidently on this event, and she's setting up for one of her biggest skills, a full-twisting back handspring straddle-down. And that was well done. Erica proves that she's not only skilled, but also very courageous. The balance beam is only four inches wide and four feet off the ground. And she is displaying incredible coordination. The margin for error on this event is certainly small. As she's preparing for her dismount, a round off double twist. Nice and clean and a good landing. That's a great start for Erica Stokes. Another example of some of the young talent we have in the women's division. Erica Stokes is only 13 years old. And, and she is talented. Here's that big skill, the full twisting back handspring to a straddle down. That was so well done. That's the skill that sets her apart from the rest of the field. In fourth position, after the compulsories, Erica Stokes starts the optional portion of her program with a 9-5 on the balance beam. Well, we saw the first vault of Brandy Johnson with a 9-8. They take the highest of the two. And now Brandy is getting ready for her second. Brandy already has a good score under her belt. She's just trying to better that score with her second vault. Handspring front with a half twist. Well done. Another step in the landing, but that's just a tenth of the point. Each vault is graded down according to the degree of difficulty. And that one could have been a perfect 10. That's right, Joel. Brandy Johnson is one of the few athletes who performs two different 10.0 vaults. Here's her second vault, handspring front, half twist, nice height, nice distance off the horse, just a step on the landing. It was a nice job. So it seemed like it would have been tough for Brandy Johnson to improve upon a 9-8, but she did exactly that with a 9-8-5 on her second vault.